Before we jump into this video, welcome and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Let's go to the book of Revelation chapter 20, verse 11 and 12. And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And the books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. Verse 12 says, And the books were opened, and the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according to their works. So this is a righteous judgment. They would be judged according to the ways in which they live their lives while upon earth. This also lets us know that there is another resurrection at the end of the 1000 year reign of Christ, in which the dead that didn't make it in the first resurrection is judged according to their works. The first resurrection will happen at the last trump, when the dead in Christ shall rise, and we which are alive and remain shall be caught up to meet the Lord in the air, and we shall forever be with the Lord. Verse 13 And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them, and they were judged every man according to their works. Verse 14 And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. So that's the second death. At the very end, death and hell will be thrown into the lake of fire. So those who die in Christ, they only experience one death. Those who die without knowing Christ, they experience two deaths. The second death is eternal damnation in the lake of fire. Verse 15. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. So if your name wasn't found written in the Lamb's book of life, you were cast into the lake of fire. We are talking about the total destruction of one's essence. It will be destroyed. The destruction of the soul and spirit. Now some people might ask, how do I get written in the book of life? Well, believe it or not, when you're born into this world, your name is written in the book of life. When you're born, you're already in it. It's your sins that actually blot you out of the book. Continual, unrepentant sinning against God eventually causes your name to start to fade out of the book. And without true repentance, after a while, your name is blotted out. It's no longer written in the book. It's wiped out. It's our sins that actually blot us out of the book of life. Let's read Psalms 69, 28 to prove that. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living and not be written with the righteous. So if you're blotted out, that means you were once there. You were once in it. Your name originally was written in the book. Now to end this study, let's go to the book of Exodus 32, 30 through 33 to further prove this. And it came to pass on the morrow that Moses said unto the people, Ye have sinned a great sin, and now I will go up unto the Lord. Pre-adventure, I shall make an atonement for your sin. And Moses returned unto the Lord and said, Oh, this people have sinned a great sin, and have made them gods of gold. Yet now, if thou wilt forgive their sin, and if not, blot me, I pray thee, out of thy book, 
which thou hast written. And the Lord said unto Moses, Whosoever had sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. All of our names are in the book, but sins blot you out. So on that great day of judgment, when the books are opened, the judgment is going to be based on who is written in the book. And that's the final judgment. So blessed is he who makes it in the first resurrection, because the second death has no power. So as believers in Christ, we shall strive daily to live righteously. We are to fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Daily repentance should be our focus. Walking in the spirit of forgiveness, love, unity, so on and so forth. We must forgive others who hurt us, harm us, even when they are not sorry. We must operate in this world being guided by the Holy Spirit so that we will be a part of the first resurrection. And for those of us who would be here when Christ shall appear for the second time, well, in order for us to receive our change from mortal to immortality in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, we must be in the world, but not of this world. We can't live our lives like the unrighteous and expect for our names not to be blotted out of the Lamb's Book of Life. It doesn't work that way. We must be mindful that we must all be accounted worthy to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and share the videos. Be blessed always.